How is everybody doing? This is Justin coming at you with another edition of How to Make More Money. Anyway, wanted to touch base with you guys today on when to talk less and do more. When I thought of this topic, I thought of the play Hamilton that came out a few years ago. Love it, right? But uh, when Aaron Burr, sir, says talk less and smile more. And, uh, you know, it made me think, you know, of obviously, um, you know, Hamilton's rebuttal was, well, what are you fighting for? Or what do you fall for, right? So, um, but all that taken aside, uh, just wanted to touch base with you guys on this. I mean, I think like it's important, like when to know to open up your mouth and when to shut up. I mean... I'm actually a firm believer of, you know, the old school sales techniques of like when you're talking and you ask a question, if you don't let them respond and you answer that question, you've lost that battle, right? So if you're going to ask questions, I mean, obviously in the beginning of the sales process, when you're getting to know whoever it is that you're dealing with, you have to have a connection on some level, right? Even if it's opposites, it's still a connection, right? It's like, I believe in X, you believe in Y, why do you believe in X? Well, You talk about that and you talk about what is your why and then you come together and there you go, voila, right? It's it's like you have a connection, but you have to establish that connection to move on to the next step. And, you know, when you're talking less and doing more, you've established some sort of rapport up front to get to this level. But when it comes to establishing, you know, what it is that you can do for them. Right? There has to be something that you're going to deliver to, for them that they're not going to get anywhere else or they're not going to get in too many places. So that's the doing more part. And I'm a firm, firm believer in that. Right. So in my line of work, when let's say we funded a loan, you know, I not that I step in and take credit. I thank the team because the team's wonderful. The ops staff is somebody that needs to be congratulated and petted on a daily basis. Right. But you do take some credit for that. And that's the doing more, right? You under promise and over deliver. Don't over promise. Over promising is probably the biggest killer of anything. I mean, I I can relate this to, you know, I, obviously I'm married, I don't do any of this. Never did, never had the need, but you know, um, online dating, right? So somebody posts a picture, 30 years ago when they were in high school, you go to meet them and, you know, they look like nothing like the picture, right? That's an, that's a version of, you know, over promising and under delivering, which usually ends up in nothing. There's no connection there. So, um, When you talk less and do more, you're oftentimes and pretty much every time you're under promising and over delivering, you know, and when you over deliver, you must take credit for that, right? They got to know who put that into action, who put that into place, right? So if you're going to get a, you know, like in my line of work, if you're going to get a clearance to dock the file sooner than you told them you would, you would tell them, hey, I did this for you, right? And the call to action after that would be, when are you sending me more loans? Because obviously it's going better than anticipated with me. And you let them answer that question. It's not talk less, smile more right? It's do more. So I also relate this to something that I see, which is a phenomenon growing, right? Is YouTube videos. Like everybody is just watching YouTube videos. Well, what about doing what you're watching in the YouTube videos? And, and, you know, case in point is, is like, you can sit there and watch somebody, you know, build a car all day, but unless you go out and you build the car, then what the hell are you gaining from watching videos on somebody building a car? I mean, just do it already, you know, do it. Make yourself vulnerable enough to learn and grow. That's talk less, do more, right? So for me, I felt stagnant in my sales, you know, abilities. So I read, I made myself vulnerable and I did more than my competitors do. So I gained while they were losing, which helped me gain a market share, marketplace, right? That's talking less and doing more. 
I have a counterpart. We actually talked to each other. He's a top loan officer. I'm a top AE. We were both stagnant at the same time. The guy changed his whole morning routine. He started getting up bright and early, like 4 a.m., religiously on a daily basis, meditating. His business is going crazy. He is promoting an attraction, you know, rather than a deterrent. But anyway, it's just me touching base with you on why to talk less and do more. I mean, like the guy right here behind me. He is not talking at all. He's doing more by scaring the crap out of me on a daily basis. Anyway, follow me on social media. Uh, Watch Hamilton if you haven't. It's amazing. And um, have a nice day. Thank you so much.